Hello, my name is Tim, my company is Sports and Touring, and we are Jaguar F-Type specialists. Jaguar have made the F-Type with three engine options. The four-cylinder two-litre, the six-cylinder V6 three-litre, and the eight-cylinder V8 five-litre. And many people agree that the V6 three-litre is the Goldilocks option. It's not too little and it's not too much, but it's just right. And then the epitome of the V6 range is the 400 Sport, a small production run of V6s with an extra 20 horsepower and finished in a beautiful aesthetic using Jaguar technical grey accents and gorgeous black leather with yellow contrast stitching. And it's a real pleasure then to show you this 400 Sport Cabriolet in ultimate black. It's a beautiful example with incredibly low mileage, just over 7,000 miles on the odometer, and it's in strikingly good condition. Let's take a look around. The very familiar nose of the Jaguar F-Type in a very familiar color, ultimate black, a beautiful, deep, glossy black color, uh, which looks sensational on the F-Type form. But accompanied here, you'll notice, by those technical gray accents, the gill intakes, the front splitter, the wheels, the air intakes on the sides of the car and the bonnet vents, and the side skirts from Design Pack as well, all in technical grey, which is such a brilliant contrast to this gorgeous black paint. And then we look inside the cockpit and we see the performance seats, which are heated and cooled, by the way, with yellow contrast stitching and not embossed, but stitched into the leather of the headrest, the 400 Sport emblem. It's a very striking looking way to finish an F-Type and it sits alongside the fact that the 400 Sport as a driver's car is so very good. It delivers that little extra power, that little extra 0 to 60 speed, along with all of the classic modern sports car handling, which makes the F-Type such a great success. And this example is in the kind of beautiful condition you would expect from a car with so very low mileage. It has clearly been a cherished weekend pleasure, not a daily driver. It is in immaculate order inside and out. And speaking of inside, let's take a look in the cockpit. The car supplied, of course, with two remote key fobs and the owner's book pack, but keyless entry is one of the features, so simply tapping on the button on the door handle, unlocks the door and opens the power fold mirrors out into the driving position and we can then take a look into this beautiful cockpit. Starting perhaps with the door card you can see gorgeous jet leather with contrast stitching in yellow there in beautiful condition and we also have Meridian sound and the full memory seat package, three memories uh, for each seat and the adjustable back bolster support, the lumbar support there as well. Coming around to the cockpit, you can see that the tread plate is in very good order and these beautiful seats in jet leather with the contrast yellow stitching look absolutely gorgeous. And you'll notice as well that the leather is perforated. That's because these are heated and cooled seats for your additional comfort. Sitting down into the car, always a lovely thing to do in an F-Type. And immediately you see the mix of technology and artistry, the gorgeous lines of the cockpit. And the way that everything is laid out is very sensible, very logical. Uh, there are no moments driving an F-Type where you think, gosh, how do I get it to do that? Um, everything makes very good sense. Looking in a little more detail, between the seats here, we've got a useful little stowage pouch and then the centre armrest with the two USB sockets and HDMI connection and a socket for the SIM card along with a 12 volt supply as well. Cup holders, of course, uh, with a little uh, space in the middle to take a, a small drinks can. And to look onwards from there, 
we'll start up the supercharged V6 so that we can see everything alive. As we do this, you'll see the instrument binnacle do its little flying display and the center air vent will rise up into the open position. And of course, that gorgeous note from the exhaust. The engine over revs for a short while in order to protect the catalytic converters. That will drop back down to a normal idle very shortly. And back here on the center console, and we can see switches here behind the shift stick for the roof, eco stop start, the deployable spoiler, anti-skid on off, and the switched active sports exhaust, those two valves that open and close to make the exhaust note throatier. Electronic parking brake with hill start assist, of course, and this beautiful shift stick. It falls to the hand so very nicely. There's a trigger on the front so we can move into drive. And from drive, we go across into sport mode. In sport mode, you can shift up and down using the shift stick. But of course, you can also at any time shift using the flappy paddles on the steering column with the benefit that you keep your hands on the steering wheel while you're manoeuvring the car. Back over to the center console and we've got the driving mode selector switch. We're in normal mode at the moment. We can go forward into rain, ice and snow mode. Very useful for calming this rear wheel drive car down in icy or slippery conditions. And then we go from there back to normal and into dynamic mode. And you'll see on the instrument binnacle, dynamic mode confirmed and the binnacle has turned red, reflecting that as well. And one of the features on this car is dynamic eye mode. So we go two screens right from the home screen and you can see dynamic eye where we can now select our own preference of comfort or dynamic engine, gear shift, steering and suspension. Also from this screen, by the way, we've got the stopwatch, the G meter and the pedal tracker. You can see I've got my foot on the brake at the moment there. And that also has a graph showing the last uh, two minutes of pedal position. Back to the home screen while we look at the uh, climate controls and you can see we have timed recirculation. Electrically heated front windscreen on this car, very valuable option in the cold weather. And we've got dual zone climate, so driver and passenger can have their own selected temperatures. And as I say, cooled and heated seats. The infotainment, well, it is very fully featured indeed. It's a lovely big clear display. We go from the home screen to the audio, uh, various sources available to us, Bluetooth, media library and radio, which is FM, AM and DAB. Back to the home screen, you see we have Bluetooth telephony, climate controls, so we can direct the air where we would like it, and navigation, of course, very fully featured satellite, satellite navigation. We'll explain to you, uh, if you purchase the car, how the in-control app works, how to get it set up for you, and then when you sign into your account, your data is there, ready to go. Over to the steering wheel, and the left thumb pad has the infotainment controls and Bluetooth telephony button. The left stalk, we've got the automatic headlamps. Right thumb pad for the cruise control and heated steering wheel, and the right stalk gives us the rain sensitive wipers. Down to the right hand side here, just in front of my knee, we've got the boot release and the rear fog light. And by the way, you can just see down there that the stainless steel pedals are another of the options on this F-Type. Again, as I say, everything in the cockpit in very good order indeed. No blemishes, no marks, nothing uh, that looks out of place or incorrect. This car, with its extremely low mileage, has been very well looked after in its life. OK, we'll turn the engine off and have a look at how the roof operates. Convertible roofs are great, aren't they? But only if they are reliable and simple, so they don't cause maintenance headaches, and quick enough to operate. Uh, the F-Type does very well in this regard. Uh, imagine that we're driving on a sunny day, but we see a rain shower up ahead. We come to a halt at some traffic lights. We've got a few seconds. And so with the single switch, we are able to start the opening process 
uh, on those little side covers which cover the area where the roof folds away. The roof then deploys itself, latches into position and the windows come up in only very few seconds indeed and we are secure against the weather ahead. Conversely, we've come through the rain shower. It's a lovely day again. Just operate the switch, the windows go down, the roof folds itself out of the way, unlatches itself, of course, first, and then those covers move down into position and we are ready for our top-down motoring fun. Very swift, notably reliable and trouble-free. It's a great part of the F-Type design and as you can see, it's working absolutely perfectly on this particular car. There's been a little bit of negative commentary about the F-Type convertible boot here and there, but in fact, if you compare it to other convertibles and you accept that the space is a slightly unusual shape, there is in fact plenty of room in here for your bags for a couple of weeks away. Yes, you can get a relatively slim down set of golf clubs in. The space extends out to the sides. There's this cubby hole in the bottom of the boot space. And if we look forward, you can see it extends quite a long way there as well under the roof mechanism. So it's a decent space provided that either you pack soft-sided bags or better still, uh, get hold of one of those bespoke luggage sets which fits exactly into the F-Type convertible boot and enables you to look stylish on your travels as well as making the best of the space. And again, by the way, everything in perfect order. No blemishes, no nasty marks, no stains anywhere to be seen in this boot. It is in very fine condition indeed. Coming to the passenger side of the car, and again, we can see that this beautiful door card is in very fine order. The scuff plate or tread plate is very nearly perfect. And the dashboard, centre console, and this beautiful performance seat in its jet leather with that gorgeous stitched headrest are all very fine indeed. Under the bonnet and there is the supercharged V6 producing 400 PS, 395 horsepower and powering this F-Type from 0 to 60 in just 4.9 seconds and on to a top speed of 171 miles per hour. And all of that going to the rear axle. Uh, this being a rear wheel drive 400 Sport is maybe the car that gives you not only the Goldilocks F-Type, but the classic rear wheel drive sports car experience. And in either case, this isn't a numbers car. I say this in, I think, all of our F-Type videos, that this is a car about being here in the driver's seat and feeling the intense connection that the F-Type delivers between you and the car and the road and your journey. It really is the most satisfying vehicle in that respect. And yet something that I, I haven't mentioned in our previous F-Type videos, that this car does so brilliantly well, is that if, for example, you have someone in your life who doesn't share your passion for performance motoring, it's perfectly possible to drive an F-Type just like a Ford Focus or any other car. And it will take you from A to B in comfort and luxury, uh, but it doesn't constantly remind you that it's a sports car, the way that, for example, some Porsches and Aston Martins do. It's not a fatiguing car to drive, which is constantly wanting to go quickly. If you simply wish to make gentle progress along the road, the F-Type is a, a glorious cruising machine. So thank you very much indeed for watching. It has been a huge pleasure to show you this beautiful 400 Sport. We're sports and touring just outside Andover in Hampshire. We're open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to telephone, email or WhatsApp us with any questions. Or if you'd like to arrange to see this car in person or by video call. We can send you a link to the Google Drive for this car. That's an online folder with higher resolution photos, which you can zoom in on, and PDF copies of important documents like the service history and the motor check report and so forth. 
If on your buying journey you've got a vehicle to dispose of, we'll give you frank and honest advice about the best way to achieve the maximum value with the minimum inconvenience. And if you'd like to chat about finance, we can do that as well. We're authorised and regulated by the FCA and we work with a really brilliant broker. Do please take a few moments to read our reviews in Autotrader. I'm very proud indeed of the things that our previous customers say about us. And I'll close by saying thank you once again. Feel free to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube if you wish. And we will look forward to hearing from you very soon.